Okay, I spilled water everywhere, but it's just water. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Thank you for the water, Ron. Creatures are ready. <laughs> no, I really, I, I'm actually really absorbed by this game. So, how do we send them out? They're waiting. Yes, but how do I... Oh, I can send them here, but not there. No, no, now I can send them. Okay. So, this peculiar building must be the Arctic Observatory the Royal Society built to investigate the eternal winter. There's smoke over it. So, that's even part of, like, a main quest. A stir to shelter. Oh, this means there's more people out here. Okay. And then here, several wrecked vehicles. No signs of life. They are probably our machines. Supply sounds good. We really need supplies. I hope they bring back some wood. So, there you go. We are out of food? Oh, look at this! People from our convoy. Reunions. It's heartwarming to see the families reunited after so many hardships. But shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We'll go look for the others. Sure, sure, sure. One thing at a time. Now we have a lot of homeless people, of course. Right. And so many sick people. Like, my hospital is literally filled up with people just waiting to be cured. So that's not great. We gotta do an over emergency shift here at the workshop, I think. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's right, Ronan. Thank you for taking care of me. I was telling Ronan the other day about how no one redeems hydrate on my channel anymore, so I haven't drunk water for weeks, months even. Shall pray for their well being so we can make more people sick in the future. Sure. I'm screwing up my colony here. Stuff, are, stuff is not going well. What do we have here? Child labor, a protective mother. mother. A mother has refused to let her daughter, daughter go to work. Flocking it is. <sighs> get the whip. Afraid she'll get injured. We could look the other way this time, but others might see it as unfair. We can let her have a day off. We will hope will rise slightly, okay. We won't make an exception and then... Yeah, we shouldn't make exceptions. That's a slippery slope, no pun intended. Oh. Oh, well, I started an emergency shift. There was a misclick, but whatever. Let's overwork the children. Sure. Refusal to work, emergency shift. A man assigned to an emergency shift has refused to work. He said that he's already worn out and he doesn't want to end up dead like one of his friends. <sighs> Let him rest. This man won't work for 24 hours. Discontent will rise slightly. Yeah, we'll let him rest. Discontent is already high. Stuff is not great right now. With all the emergency shifts. What is happening? Oh, the temperature is rising. Oh, that's great. Oh, good. So can I turn this off now? Yes. Good. Your faith in my colony. Fast gathering researched. Okay. Now we need to research the next level of health and shelter. Gotta help the sick a little bit more. And I can almost afford to also build a new sick house, which we do need. 24, 25, there we go. No delay, medical post. Uh, I'll build it over here.
there. And then we're out of wood, sure. Oh, we have a lot of people not working, so... Get to gathering all this wood. We need wood. Is that all the wood that's left? Yes. We can start gathering the coal, maybe, here. building. Oh, this probably takes engineers, so that will be where we put our new engineers. In a second here. There's no meals to... Uh, so we need to build another hunter's hut? Or we could research increased hunting. Right. They're coming back with food right now. Right? 15 per day. Can't do emergency shift here. We're out of food. Well. There's a research for that, but... Engineers get to work. The heater is off. Good. It's all falling apart. At least we're getting a lot of wood income right now, so it's just about... Oh, look, this thing is covered in snow. And yeah, the overdrive doesn't cure it. No. Is it too cold? No. Some are being treated. Oh, we have some gravely wounded that are not gravely wounded anymore? I thought we had more. Nine in palliative care, though. Oh, boy. No, zero gravely. Because they're interred in, in the, the sick house, medical post. I think. Drawing boards researched, okay. Medical post upgrade. Thanks to improved tools and methods, people employed in medical posts will heal the sick 10% faster. Bunkhouse is for living in, a dwelling for 10 people, okay. And over here, a hothouse. A few hardy crops can be grown here. Oh, so this is food production, all right. And here is where we research the next level of health, which I need. We also need food, though. This takes nine hours, resources in here, the exploration and industry, no, healing, wait, what? Where's the hunter's gear here? Seven hours. I'm beelining for that infirmary now. We gotta do it. Children working over here. At least we're researching really quickly. Right now. What's this? 
The scouts have reached the crash site. Okay. Uh, that's where our expedition was split up. Okay, so explore. Fate of the Forgotten. There are plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks. We found the bodies. They are tangled together in a single frozen mass as if these people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. Take resources. We have discovered the gloomy cave. And so they will be returning with that, I suppose. Which is good. There was some raw food in that, so very good. More sick bits needed? I know. I will build a new medical post. Sure. Not what I wanted to do, but I think they're right. We gotta do it. There, and then hire some more engineers. Do we not have more engineers at all? No. Yeah, I think all my engineers are now officially employed. Oh, it needs roads? Okay, there. That's not great. Drafting machines researched. Okay. And then... Oh, we need the medical post upgrade to even get the infirmary. Ah! <laughs> Alright, so many delays. To getting the people cured. Healthcare promise fulfilled. Hope rises. We are collecting some coal, that's good. Still working overtime in the workshop. Faster, faster, faster. Wait, I need you to return. Oh my god, I had to tell them to return? Oh, because I could have sent them to the gloomy cave or something. No, no, no. We need them home. Damn. So they were just sitting out there. Food for overtime work. Our people are becoming less and less committed to their work. Perhaps we could have, should at least give them extra rations while they're sweating blood in the emergency shifts. But we don't have any food. <laughs> From now on, emergency shifts will cost food. Hope will rise. You know what, that's fine. I'm not going to be using that mechanic much more, I hope. I'm probably wrong about that. Uh, it's, it was an emergency, you know? And I'm, I'm planning to fix the food economy. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it, I swear. Yeah. When we sell a medical post, we get 19 wood. Okay, so it's not that big of a loss for having built one that takes care of takes care of people right now. That's good. Here, they're coming back with 46 raw food. That's going to help a lot. We only have one hungry person. It's fine. Oh, we can issue another law. Care house. Gravely ill and amputees will be cared for at a low cost in special homes. Oh. Care house. Oh, this is what I needed. Oh. Yes, because then they will no longer burden medical posts. Aha. Residents of care houses eat half as much. Hope will rise slightly. 
I will have to build a care house, but that's basically what I've been doing, just with medical posts. You can use triage and medical facilities to instantly heal one half of your pa patients. Oh, really? Hmm. Another fourth, uh, what, 25% of your patients will die instantly. Damn. All right. Yeah, that's that doesn't seem like a smart decision. Care houses, for sure. Uh, this one comes with heating level 2. Alright, so it can be built, built further out. Very good. Like here. Build a care house, yeah. Working on it. Yeah, because we got 15 in palliative care. No, 11 in palliative care, 15 being treated. Okay. Right. Hopefully this one does not require engineers then, at least. Hmm. No reason to have people working there. I certainly remember those mornings. Let's make it through the day, maybe tomorrow will be better. That's the spirit, Luke. Luke, use the force. Scouts have returned safely to the city. All right, I think, and I think they need to go back out immediately. Right, we gotta keep exploring. So gloomy cave. There's a dark cave entrance visible on the hillside. We think we saw a faint wisp of smoke coming from it, but it's gone now. Twenty hours, twenty-one, and this is literally a mission for searching for others, sure. But we can't shelter more people right now, so let's go to the observatory first, and then we will deal with the settlement later. Get to work, you lazy bastards. Care house promise fulfilled. Hope rises, brother. Um, no workers required? And they get half rations, so this was a pure upgrade for my settlement. Very good. So many sick people, though. Hot damn. Yeah, we have 12 that need the infirmary. But soon, soon, we will have means to deal with that. The hunters are coming home. Still working the overtime shift here? No. I still just on cooldown, I think. Right. Medical post upgrade, very good. And then into the infirmary for 30 wood, 20 steel. Oh, it needs a steam core, which we only have one off. I hope I'm not screwing us too hard by beelining towards this one. In fact, can I afford that? Let's get the hunter's gear set up, because we really need more food production. Uh, I'm almost full up on wood. I can't store anymore. Okay, hold on. Uh, none. We collect some steel instead. Some more coal out here. Storage near capacity, yeah. Okay, but that's good. Yeah, it's literally full. Okay. 
So we should build something with all that wood, I suppose. Now the hunter's hut. Oh, you can build another resource depot. That is an option. You know, before I start collecting from out here, why don't I build a gathering post here so that fewer people get sick collecting from out there? Just a crazy thought. Uh, we need people to work in the kitchen again. Children. Other candidates for building then. Uh, we can work here again now that there's room for more storage. Got a decision. Double rations for kids. In the wake of recent child workers accident, the pa parents argue that we could give working children double rations to make them stronger and help prevent injuries. No. <laughs> we cannot afford it. Maybe just some tents. Feels intense this game. Like I'm always behind on the schedule, always fighting for survival here. Hunter's gear researched. Nice. Uh, not there. Go here. The infirmary then. Go. area effects. Oh. So a house of prayer will have an area of effect. Yeah, so we will need those uh, heaters that can heat like an, an area around themselves to sort of heat out buildings further out. That will be a goal for us to get. Like I think this these tents here will not be great for living. But surely better than and you know, we get a good amount of return investment on, on deconstructing tents, so why don't, why don't I just build enough? Since we have the workforce available to build them and we have the wood right now, we can always dismantle the tents later. Work day ends. It's off time. Yeah, that's fine. Time to speed up a bit, I think. We have children working here. <laughs> sure. So they... <laughs> when they go to mine wood out here, they literally disappear like into the wood. It's kind of interesting. It is a finite resource, but there's a lot of it, at least. Uh, our guys are waiting at the observatory here. All right. Some things are missed at the observatory. Snow covers the precious instruments, and the dome is open. Letting out a thin column of smoke. Someone's inside. Search might provide survivors. Oh, okay. The sun is dimming. Instead of astronomers, we are met by some of our lost people. They explain that they came here for help, but found everybody dead. 
the astronomers continued their observations until they starved. What was so important for them? They wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Well, that's not great. We can leave them to their fate. Not knowing the way to our city, the survivors will die trying to find it. Jesus, why would we do that? Because we can't sustain them. But I will send them to the city so that we can send our scouts elsewhere. There's 18 engineers here, though. Are you going fanatical demagogue tyrant? I'm somewhere in between Jawaf. Oh, not Jawaf. You just got the same color name, Mepis. Um, we have child labor, and I'm aiming for cannibalism. <laughs> but beyond that, I've been honestly kind of nice to my people, I think. At least I feel that way. <sighs> These 18 engineers, I don't want to lose them. You know? But if we escort them home, I can't send my scouts elsewhere. So I'm sure that they will make it. They'll be fine. Let's go to the gloomy cave. Ah. The expedition travels faster and following a known route to a surveyed location. And they are carrying people. Okay. Very cool. So they, they'll be here in one day and one hour? How is that faster? That's slower. What are your people doing with hope? Eh. Disappoint me. <laughs> it's a resource you offer. Just like anything else. Everything's a resource that can be quantified, calculated, counted. You must crush their hope until there's nothing left. Jesus. All right. I don't vote for Jawafa as dictator. Oh, we, I forgot. Mepis, you wrote in chat, so you are now doomed to trying to survive the apocalypse. Mepis 101, there you go. Best of luck out there, soldier. Stop by making them amputees. I've actually gone the other route where we try to save people. You know, we can't we can't have slaves dying on us, you know, getting amputees. Every time they lose an arm, that's less work that is the slave will provide for me. That just won't do. We will build some tents preemptively here. No. <laughs> Welcome to Oblivion. All right. I feel like we're doing okay now. We still have a bit of a food situation, but no one is starving right now. So I mean, everything's fine. What was that? Ah, work time. Get back, to work. Get back to work, you lazy bastards. This game is a work of freaking art, yeah. This must be because you didn't grow up in America. Your people live to so many... <laughs> I guess this is kind of uh, USA the simulator game, right? It's the same kind of thing. If we zoom in here, we can see this is where Juwafa lives. This is where uh, Mepes lives in real life. Rights, home, arms, the world owes them to none of these. Right. Steel wreckage depleted. Uh oh. Yeah, we need new sources of steel soon.
And coal. Well, coal we've sort of got on, on the wraps up here. It being gathered by children. This is my little children's workplace. Look at that. Little Abby here. Faster! Could I? Yeah, I can say emergency shift here where only children works. That would be literally like whipping children into shape. Ah, glorious.